right here on some hedge clippers and turpentine. Take a look at this. Today we have friends and family members who say they're tired of the punk and the piercings and they've asked us to help and we're going to try. Our first guest is Jade who says her friend Kim looks so outrageous that people dress up as her for Halloween. Here's Kim. Come on out, Kim. Before we talk to, uh, <laughs> before we talk to Jane and Kim, look at this videotape. Jenny, my friend Kim was a sweet and innocent little girl. Did she grow up to be a hot babe? What do you think? My friend Kim has 57 piercings. One, two, three, 42, 43, 44, and 13 we can't show. Normal people look like puppets. Help! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so Jade, how would you describe your friend's appearance? How would you describe her? She's crazy. Look at her. <laughs> she, I, well, she's been called um, Raggedy Ann on crack. Um, <laughs> See, how many how many how many piercings do you have? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. <laughs> how many of those are visible? All of them, but thirteen. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Who does these uh, piercings for you? Me. All of them. All fifty-seven. <laughs> have you ever had a problem like with infection or anything? <laughs> no. Nothing. I mean, I don't want to go to like some place and just like pull my pants down and be like pierce me you know so i do it myself <laughs> hey like what you just sitting at the crib one day and just decided like i'm just gonna stick myself or something <laughs> you watching cartoons or, i mean he's been doing it forever when, when, when was your first how old you so see you're um you're 25 years old? Yeah, just about 26. You're almost 26. Mm -hmm. When did you, when was the first piercing? How old were you and what made you do the first one? And um, where was it? Well, I did my ears and stuff. Uh -huh. I pierced them all up and I did them myself. How old? About 12. You pierced your own ears at 12? When did you start the body piercings at what age? Um, I guess I was 15 when I first did my nose. Okay, look at some, we have a couple of pictures, by the way, a childhood picture of uh, Kim. <laughs> And here are some uh, more current pictures of uh, Kim. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you get your hair? She, she just like people honk at us. Like we'll be driving yeah. in the car, and like people that they don't even know her, they'll be like they'll beep and you know. Can you stand up just for a second? Let's kind of run through uh, top to bottom. Your hair. If you'll turn around for a second, your hair is like. You, you put black dots on it like leopard dots, mm -hmm. right? And it's shaved pretty much in the back. You're wearing a t-shirt. We don't want to, don't open the t, no, don't open the t-shirt. This is the latest. We'll this, go off the air. This um, is, uh, <laughs> both of your arms are completely tattooed. How much of your body's tattooed? Um, a lot of it. Like her legs, like she has like lots of yeah, her legs and her back. Legs. Like your legs, a lot are, your you legs are mostly see. covered, they're tattooed. Her toes. You know your stockings are ripped, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you never know. I'm just. All right. So now, can I sit down? do you? Yeah, you can sit down. <laughs> can you even get a job? Yeah, I have a job. What? What? Well, um, what I do, I sell like stuff like this, like the hair dye and everything, in my store that I work at. Was any of this painful? A little bit. Little I mean, what was the most painful extreme. piercing of your 57 piercings? This one, I think. The nose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right you in the middle. That you did it yourself. Yeah. With what? Safety pain. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
Yeah. So you do have a job, but but Jade, you say she sleeps in her car. Or? Well, she ha she used to sleep in her car, and you know she'll sleep in her car at the you know drop of a hat. I mean, it's like no big deal. I oh, just know. I mean, I could. <laughs> but she's not homeless. I, could never I mean, sleep you in have. My car. She ha you have a home, Kim. Right now, I do. Yeah. Yeah, but you know she moves around like constantly, and and you know what. You can tell that you have a really pretty face. You will get more attention being a regular-looking woman than that get-up. She does. She does. She's beautiful. You said that, Jay, too, that she does have a very we, pretty face. We went to this buffet at the casinos, and like, there's all these old people, and they're like, oh, sweetheart, you know, you could be so pretty if you just didn't have those. Like, why did you do that to yourself? And yeah. Speaking of tattoos, do, don't some people have tattoos of her, uh, Jay, didn't you yeah, say? Yeah, um, there's like quite a few guys who've had like her face tattooed. Yeah, like one with the face. On Is their bodies. One? Or her name or, you know, On their different, bodies. you know. I'm just curious, how long does it take you to like get ready with your hair and everything before you go out? I don't really do anything with my hair. It's, I just for need... Hours. <laughs> no, I mean like from uh, I'm telling you. your previous, hours. like the hairstyles, everything going out. Like, this morning. <laughs> you know, like your hairstyles where you had it all going all in different directions. Yeah, I mean, that does one, someone help the, you with that or? The one picture, your hair oh. was like two feet high. Oh, that, yeah. that, that well, takes I put some it time. up and I just leave it up as long as it'll stay up. I don't like wash it out every day and put it up again. No way. I leave it up for like a month or something. <laughs> do you, does she, uh, do you wash regularly or? Jane? <laughs> her hair? Never. How about the Can rest? Can I tell you her clothes? Like, yeah. <laughs> this is her green hoodie. <laughs> All right. Notice, like, the sleeves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, how often, Kim, do you sh shower and clean up? <laughs> Whenever I need to. How does she look for, I mean, if she's like... <laughs> Kim, you're like 26 right now. Are you a, like a late bloomer? Or when did you start doing this? A long time long ago. Time ago. <laughs> yeah, you you uh, you seem younger, but you're 26, and you have no plans to change. Yeah, except, late, you know, we're going to change you today, right? <laughs> you know, we're going to give you a, a whole conservative look today. You yeah. okay with that? Okay. Yeah. Our next guest is uh, Brandon. Uh, Brandon says his friend Patrick needs to get a new look, and he can start by losing the pantyhose. Here's Patrick, everybody. <laughs> Talk to Patrick, take a look at some videotape, watch. Jenny, this is what my friend Patrick used to look like. So, is he still that lovable little kid? Not. Jenny, he belongs in a cage. Help him, please! All right, Patrick. <laughs> Brandon, you're shaking. Can you we wearing? have some interesting questions, please? I've only heard boring questions. <laughs> okay. All right, who, who wants to ask the first interesting question? Go ahead. Okay, you guys look totally opposite of each other. Do you guys, like, go out together looking like you do and like you do? Uh, yeah, basically. You do. Ben, and well, I've known him for eight years. And just it was fun and cute friendship? when we were kids, but it's, it's just time to, you know... Has he always, he for eight years, you've dressed yet. like this the whole time, right? Um, don't you dress this like that? I mean, have you always mild. dressed the same way? This, this is mild? This is nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm he sorry. He says I get weirder and weirder as the years go by, but uh, times do change. I'm not dressing in bell bottoms anymore, you know, like no, the 70s. No, but don't Thank usually you. women wear makeup? Pardon me? Aren't women normally the ones that wear makeup? Oh, or? because you're closed-minded and that's all your no, brainwash too. No, I'm not. To. I, I, mean, think, I don't think people should judge her. I mean, hey, you know, she's got her own you're mind. Right. She's got her own mindset. You're right, Whatever. but not only women wear makeup, no. Okay. Thank you. So, that will be All right, all right. <laughs> Jenny? Yeah, yeah, Brandy. I, they, they look like they belong in caskets. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I might get a night better, it's better night's rest. You, you, you're feeling a little hostile today, aren't you? He's like no. this. Yeah. I see these crowds, and yeah. they're not making sense. They you're ask questions that are, like, irrelevant. Would you please help yeah. change his attitude, too? 
Well, we'll start well, with the clothes and the hair, and uh, maybe the attitude will change along with the look. I'm a very nice look, person. I get along with everyone. Does he have a bad attitude? Is that oh, yeah. no? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> do you think? Do you think uh, Patrick has a bad attitude? Yeah, he does. Totally. It matches the outfit, I guess. But what I was wondering is, um, where do you see you guys in 20 years? Do you see yourself still doing this? Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'll be doing lots of things. I mean, like I can get rid of tattoos and piercings in 20 How years. How many tattoos? Um, one at this moment. Where is it? It's right here. On your chest? What does it say? Or what is it? I can't see it. What does it say? It's like an eyeball, a triangle with an eyeball in it, and a sun and oh, some Oh, there it is. Okay, we got Egyptian. it. We got it. How many piercings? Um, 17 or 18 or 17. something. Okay, did you do them yourself? No, some. Okay. Do you have a job? Yes. I'm a makeover artist myself. I do hair and makeup. <laughs> No, uh, what do your parents think about y'all dressing up like that? They love it. His parents love it. Your, mother, mother, would, hates your it. mother wouldn't even come on the show. Come the on. Sweetest, they, he's got the sweetest <laughs> parents. His father's a banker. They have a nice home. His mother is just, she doesn't know what else to do. Let me show you some pictures. We have a childhood picture of Patrick. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> and uh, here's a little more current. Here's a few more. Here's four more. There we go. It's every day. It's every day. It's not just for the show. This is what he looks like. <laughs> okay, one more question. Hey, Patrick, I think your attitude and your look is cool. I really Thank like you. it. Oh, all right. We're ending on a... No? At least he accepts me for who I am. At well, least he's not giving me drama. Part. He's not the only one. Why do we got people? All right. Well, let's see how, if the attitude changes. We are Patrick and let's give you a complete makeover, right, Patrick? No. Complete makeover, <laughs> head to toe. I have also, a when we come back... A man who says his girlfriend gets his girlfriend gets mad when his arm spikes dig into her. We'll be right back. Beautiful women in the world on the next Jenny Jones. Monday. Mother daughter team, call us at 312 836 to meet Stacy, who says her boyfriend's look doesn't bother as much as the smell. Here's Justin. Before we see how things are smelling, take a look at this tape. Jenny, most people eat gelatin as a dessert. My boyfriend wears it on his head. Jenny, these jeans are so smelly, he scares people away. Okay, well... How's he, how's he smelling today, by the way? Why? <laughs> you clean Hi. up for the show? So, you look so different. I mean, look, you, do you guys go out like this? I mean, you look like that, and, and she looks like that. Yeah, we do. We get some looks. Do you get bad reactions? What's the worst thing anybody said or done to you when you've been out? Uh, they throw things at me. <laughs> but, uh... where, where would they do that? Like in a restaurant or no, a club? No, just on the street. On no, the street? people in restaurants are pretty polite, you know? They might move away and stuff, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me show you. we got to show you some pictures here. Here's a childhood picture of Justin. How's your mom feel? Oh. Are your parents hurt by this? Are your parents they like... They used to be. Yeah? But they moved into the city, and they're, they're real cool about they it They are, because here's know? some family. We have some family pictures. Here's the, here's the fam. Oh. So you have a sister? There yeah. you are. Is that you, you and your sister? That's me and Marissa, yeah. Okay. Come very... Oh, hello. Yeah. So when, how long have you uh, looked this way, and what? And, uh, what's the reason? Uh, I don't know, a few years now. I don't know. It's how I feel inside, you know? I feel like my head's exploding, you know? I <laughs> just, like, I'm fed up. You're fed up with being normal? No, I'm fed up with normal people not, like, accepting me, not willing to change for anything. Okay. 
here's, a, here's a normal guy. Do you accept him looking like that? I, I kind of question it. I'm from the 60s, and when we used to wear our hair long because we rejected our parents and stuff. I just wonder, is that what statement you're trying to make with your outfits? Not my parents, but my parents' generation. Your generation. Maybe that's why you It's a similar statement, hair. different look. Same statement, different look. Yeah, yeah. more glue. Or, or what's in your hair that makes it do that? Uh, this gelatin? is Knox gelatin. Yeah. <laughs> big, plug, big plug for Knox gelatin. <laughs> yeah. This stuff rocks. Can we talk about the... <laughs> Can we talk about the hygiene? Because your girlfriend says it's a bit of a problem. Yes. Well, when he has his hair up, right, he doesn't yeah. want to get it wet in the shower, so he doesn't take a shower. Oh. What's the longest he's gone without a shower, do you think? A week. A Two week. Two weeks? Yeah. I have a question for Patrick. Um, you came here dressed, you're promoting yourself. I'm wondering why you get so defensive when people are asking you questions when you I represent really yourself bad. this way. I, I don't It's not, it's not so much a defense, I think it's more along the lines of, as I want everyone to be real, I want everyone to ask real questions, you know, it's just, it doesn't make much sense. Okay, here's a real question, here's a real question, who's this to? This is for Kim. Okay, here's a real question. Kim, with all the body piercing that you have, is there a problem with intercourse? Does that get in the way? Well, that's a real question. Our next guest, Terry, who says that people think her daughter is some homeless person she adopted. Here's 15 year old Mary. Now, can you see that? She's like hurting. Oh. Oh. How long have you been dealing with this as a mother? Um, <laughs> sorry. Why are you uh, laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm crying too. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, was this a gradual thing, or did it just like um, happen? It started with hair dye. Mm -hmm. um, when you start seeing sneaky dye, blue, red, purple, in your rugs mm -hmm. and in your shower and all over the place, yeah. watch out. I'm kind of concerned because I see a progression, and <laughs> yeah. Well, this is, she's young, young. I'm you're scared. 15 years old, and Terry, what do you do? You, you're like a Sunday school teacher. I was um, also an elected official. I was a school board member, which I dealt with oh. dress codes. Oh. And uh, you know, are you still in school, Mary? Yes. Yes. Yeah, like not like this. Yeah, I go to school like this. What kind? Of, where do you go to school? Where do you go? <laughs> I go to Rogunde High School. What city? In Pismo Beach. California. In California, and you're allowed to go to school like that? Yeah. I didn't know that was even allowed. As long what? as it's not disruptive to the uh, education. It's and disruptive we... to us. <laughs> We're like looking at you. <laughs> Let me, uh... I hate to hurt you like this, Terry. I know you're a mother. We're going to show you some childhood pictures. Uh, here are, I think, uh, four or five photos of Mary as a baby. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, some more current pictures. Here you go. <laughs> so, Mary, what, uh, what kind of bad, what's the, what are some of the worst reactions you've had from people, Mary? Look at that. Oh, I've been called a dyke, you know, spit on, white trash. Yeah. What do you see yourself, what would you like to do for a living when you're, when you're older? I'm going to be a talk show host, just like you, Jenny. <laughs> The talk show host part could happen, just like Jenny Jones might need three makeovers too. <laughs> My question is for Mary. Mary, if you could, what would you, how would you make over either your mom or Jenny? You know what? I think my mom should have purple hair. <laughs> she needs more glittery, tight leather pants, you know. Uh, glamour out. <laughs> We're going to take a break and come back with a guy who couldn't get a job at a freaky store because he was too freaky. Of an overweight child who's constantly getting in fights with his or her brothers and sisters about being too fat? Are your other children cruel to your own overweight child? If you want to tell your children to stop harassing their overweight sibling, call 312 836 9453. 
to a live taping of the Jenny Jones Show. I've heard excuse after excuse after excuse. No. To attend a free taping, call 312-836-9485. mother says that she doesn't mind her daughter wearing pantyhose but wishes she'd wear them on her legs here's 16 year old Shayna. what do you what do you do with pantyhose that you don't wear them on your legs Those are pantyhose on your sleeves? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. You say your mom's a hypocrite for saying things about you. Why do you say that? Well, she's getting like nose piercings, her eyebrow pierced, and I guess her belly button pierced. Your mother? Yeah. How and old she's is sitting there telling me I can't do it or I can't dress how I want to dress. But she dresses normal, right? Not really. Well, <laughs> let's see what she's wearing today. Jan Sue, come on out here. Was that a pierced <laughs> belly button you just exposed? Yes. You, okay. So how many piercings do you have? I have three. You have three, uh -huh. but you're complaining about the way your daughter looks. Well, uh, yes, I do, because she's a beautiful girl. Oh, come and on, she used to be, I'm bad. a photographer, and mm -hmm. she used to be my model. Gorgeous, long, blonde hair. Oh, we Gorgeous. have a picture of that. Look at this. And we have one photo. She, you had this beautiful blonde, long blonde hair. Take, how old in this picture, by the way? Oh, that's when she was Oh, here's baby. another one. This is not the picture. This is, here it is. Yeah. Wow. That was after I cut seven and a half inches off. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, from that, here's some modeling type pictures, too. There you go. <laughs> You've had your hair different colors. How many different colors have you had your hair? I don't know. <laughs> well, she had a green mohawk at one time with mm -hmm. stuff hanging fringe. around the edges, different fringe. colors. Fringe. Yeah. On her head. What's the father? I mean, do you have a father? Yeah, um, my parents have been married 23 years. What does your dad think? Does he approve of it? Huh? Does he approve? Does he approve? No, but they're my parents. They, they love me for who I am. You're 16 years old. Is your daughter in school? Is she in school? I'm in college. She's, she's in college already. She's very intelligent. But this look, that's one of the problems. How do you get to in college at 16? That's, isn't that... Uh, it, it was hard to do. It was a lot of work. You have to take a test, <laughs> and it's equal to your high school diploma. And then after that, you can take another test to get into a college. So you're a smart girl. She's very smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in some ways. I just have a question. <laughs> I may not agree with the way you guys dress, but you guys, um, especially Patrick, you seem to have something against, like, are you turned off by the way we dress? Do you think that we're wrong? No. I think that you're dressed fine, but it's what you're wearing, and it's what you chose to wear. And so I'm not bagging on you. Fair enough. Yeah. Let me introduce our, our next guest. Now, Sarah here says that just once she'd like to go to a party with her friend John and not get kicked out. Let's see why. Come on out, John. out of parties oh my gosh this fool is belligerent okay <laughs> he goes around he pinches every no matter if it's male or female he'll pinch every butt in the house until he gets thrown out that's just the tip is that, of the is that your hair John yeah it's for real it really is your hair <laughs> it's now, like yarn. The clo his clothes aren't as outrageous as some of the others but he has some other outfits this thing with FedEx yeah. what's the FedEx box thing um like I got really bored and I was waiting for them to find my package at Federal Express and I was looking at the boxes because they have like so many different sizes <laughs> And I was like, that would fit on my arm. So I made a whole armature box costume. What is, what is this picture here? Look at that. <laughs> what is that? 
It's like a, it's, it's, I call myself the human box. I was a what? superhero. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, here you are with, uh, it looks like the same color hair. You're wearing lipstick in this one. Um, do you, ha are you a student or what are you yeah, working? Yeah, I'm a film student in L.A. I go so to Cal You're in school. Can you yeah. get a job at all? Or? Well, I tried to get a job at the mall, at this freaky store. <laughs> <laughs> and it, <laughs> well, <laughs> and you're going to let us, now we're giving you a makeup. Are you going to let us cut your hair today, right? Yeah, might you as well, eh? All right. <laughs> okay. They'll all be done soon when we come back from break. She has purple hair, wears plastic, and can't figure out why she can't get a job. We'll be right back. These are my grandparents. They're different from other grandparents. They know where all the great parks are. Senior Advantage from Kaiser Permanente offers you a different approach to health care. Like the confirmed because his baby's mother keeps interfering in 9457. You just stood up just because you want to stretch your legs, I guess. <laughs> well, our next guest, Pete, says he's embarrassed to go anywhere with his friend Maya. Well, here she is. Take a look. Looks like, look at her. She looks like PWT, pure white trash. I look beautiful, honey. Oh, beautiful. Oh, she will will like, you go anywhere together or not? Will you go uh, into a if club? If we ever or? go anywhere, I usually meet her there because I don't want to be seen driving with her. We get into too many confrontations that way. People pull up next to us and like stare at us. Yeah. He tries to pick out my clothes. He actually goes shopping for me and buys me things that he thinks that I should wear. So you had your your uh, nose, lip. And tongue, and tongue pierced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you, you love it. You're, uh, you love it, yeah. you're 17 you years old. You're in school. Yeah, I go to college. You're in college. Mm -hmm. What do you do for fun? You have a hobby? Um, uh, I photograph roadkill. I have a passion with life and that. <laughs> Come on. Okay. That's uh, that's what I thought she said. <laughs> Let me show you some pictures. Uh, here's a childhood picture of uh, Maya. Right Look at that. Is that the cutest? <laughs> yeah. How pretty. Look at that. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> change is starting. Yeah. Even though we seem to think that these people are uh, dressing outrageously, um, you got to admit they do have a very strong sense of self-esteem for them to come out on the air. She's in college. Yeah. And you're in college. Good for you for being in college. So, what do you want us to do today, Pete? What's that? How, how do you want us to make her look today? Uh, get her something decent, normal looking, something sleek that I don't want to be humiliated to see her in. You know, I mean, this is fun for like clubs. We'll go to clubs and she'll wear this stuff and go around with a leash. You change your hair, though, right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what's, what are you expressing to us today? I'm expressing who I am. I am the Lizard King. I can do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, we have a special treat for you right now. An up-and-coming band from here in the Midwest. Please welcome Underwater People. Okay, when we come back, we'll get to see all of our radical transformations. And now, here's Underwater People singing their hit song all over again. It's been a while here. It's 
been a short commercial break for you, but about an hour went by. The makeovers took a lot of work. They are all done. We're going to start with Kim. Let me remind you what Kim looked like just a few minutes ago. Remember this? Oh, it took some work, but Kim is all redone. Come on out, Kim. She looks really cute. You look great. She looks you, you can really sit down. Cute. You can sit down, Kim. Why are you hiding? You don't love this? I've never seen anybody wear a costume <laughs> like this. <laughs> never. So you call never. this a costume. Okay. <laughs> hey, let me introduce our next makeover. John, if you remember, John was wearing this or looking like this before. Come on out, John. John looks. What do you want? He can get a dime now. He can get one. How do you? Okay, Sarah. What do you think? Who is this? I, I mean, like, I don't know about this bag, but I think he looks cute, like overall. <laughs> yeah. John? It's all right. You don't mind it. No, it's a change. The hair. Look, look at his hair. Looks great. <laughs> Okay, well, Justin's next. Let me show you Justin's before right. picture. Hard to forget Justin's before picture. Okay, here he is with his new look. Just a minute. Look at what. Take a look. Look at the hair. The hair is gone. Wow. Now you can go to a nice restaurant and not get to, you know. Oh, he looks so People good. making comments. Oh, there's something that you have a little oh, yeah. gift for your girlfriend, Stacy. What's in the envelope? <laughs> What's in there? It's my mohawk. Oh, yes. The mohawk. Oh, yes. You can keep the mohawk as a souvenir. Thanks, Jeff. All right, and Mary's up next. Remember Mary? Here's how she looked earlier in the show. Here's, here's her new look, Mary. Stand up just a second while your mom is. Uh, are you okay, Terry? Oh, she's. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so, Mary, you're not. You're not smiling. You can. How do you feel like like this? Uh, this is <laughs> too brown. <laughs> too brown. I, I like the, the rest of you. Your face, I like your the hair. hair. The hair is nice on you. <laughs> nice, Terry. What do you think? Well. I'm crying because I'm so happy. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay. When we come back from break, we'll see the rest of our makeovers, including Patrick. Stay tuned. Again to perform back to the land from their hit CD, Shake the Lake. Welcome underwater people. Yeah. 